Hello everyone. Um, it's been some time since our last update. Um, I've been working away um, a lot. Uh, recently I fixed a bug that was causing a huge segmentation fault. Um, it was mainly caused by the docking panel system um, whereby the panel kept adding the same element to it over and over again. So I fixed that bug. I've also um, um, actually created um, delta time to actually be properly um, calculated through um, SDL performance counter. Um, so everything should be moving smoothly. I am applying once I am applying a, a change to um, the animation editor. So um, this top bar is going to go away. Um, I mean, it's going to just be replaced with, you know, since the doc system we're going to have, maybe it's all an editor or all of the inspector. Um, functions will still be the same basic editor. The object editor is going to get an upgrade as well, um, mainly because you have this component stuff here. But um, I'm going to just create a button here it's where it can auto generate code. And I can make even a file where it loads in there from. But this this will be different because this is JavaScript, of course. But we're going for C++. You know, with this being a C++ update, it's going to be a lot of changes to the engine, um, engine and the UI. And I've also upgraded the state classes. I've extracted the render classes into multiple um, base classes. So right now I'm only working with SDL, but there is something called render package where it has the window, the renderer, and then like all of our little fancy um, render calls, um, including pre-renders. SDL is probably going to be one of the only ones where we need to do pre-rendering, but this is shaving the way away um, so that we may be using OpenGL or Vulkan in the future. Classes are pretty much the same. Scenes because um, I brought the animation editor right now, it's not showing the animations, but they do work. I just um, recently removed the properties from them on accident. So if I if I go back to this mode, I can just add them back in here. Like, um, it's one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So eleven. Then I think it's 97 times 97. And yeah, so, um, no, so this is a little bit. So we have 792 over uh, 11. So 72. So this is not really broken. I just broke the project recently. But yeah, there we go. I animates. Um, I've got um, this animation going off of Delta Time, but if not, I'll upgrade that as well. But now you see it should be rendered. Um, he should be rendered in a scene, so you see he's working. Um, the doc system was tr tremendous work um, as using percentages based off 100 versus, you know, um, zero to one I like using that number better it looks easier to use and discover it back and forth it's only like 10 tap 10 of them so it's not really gonna be ineffective at all um, one huge change where I added the, the Delta system correctly um, the text editor feels much smoother or native right now it's based off milliseconds of course but you know I can just like I don't have to press the same key too long or too short it goes pretty quickly um, the settings over here so also the FBS um, the minimum you can have is 20 so even if I go at 20 it's everything feels the same the particle editor doesn't doesn't die or anything it looks the same at 20 as it would look at now my computer is too slow to go a thousand but it'll look the same close all tabs it looks the same at 192 frames per second is where I'm getting on my computer because 
that this computer doesn't even get 30 FPS on a lot of games, so I'm happy with that result. Um, See, so lots of good changes coming in the future. I can't wait to show it off. You know, I've been fixing a lot of bugs, so that's why the version was pushed back. But I'm still planning for a January release. Uh, I'm off for it tomorrow and Monday, so hopefully I can get it on Monday. But let's see. Happy Screenshot Saturday, guys.